What is up everybody, welcome into this new video of Shopify inside TechPress. I'm going to be showing you how we can customize some shipping rates inside Shopify. So once we are in here into Shopify, let's go and do this really, really quick. You want to focus into the settings inside your Shopify. And once we're in here, you want to locate the shipping and delivery. Inside the shipping and delivery, we're going to be choosing the general shipping rates and the custom shipping rates, and the processing time and the local delivery. If you're making some drop shipping, you're making some paint on demand, this stuff is automatically filled up. But if you're selling stuff manually, we needed to do this manually. So with that being said, what I wanted to do is to start by going to the shipping section. We have the general shipping rates have the general, see your products, this rate for domestic international. Assuming that I have a few products, I need to focus to find out what, which are the rates for my shipping cost. So what I'm going to go is to go into manage, and this one should be taking me into the shipping origins. So I do have the shipping zone, which in my case is United States. If you want to change your shipping origin, just go into manage, and you can change it for another one. So here into the shipping zones, we do have the rate name, the condition, the trend time, the price, and there we go. So we have the economy, we have the economy, economy, standard, standard, with different condition type. So if this one is like five pounds, five pounds, 70 pounds, more than uh, one pound, like a hundred uh, and, and more. So here's the actual price is gonna be listed automatically from our actual shipping zone. If you wanted to check it out, if you wanted to edit this shipping zone, I can totally suggest you to find out uh, an international shipping code calculator. So this one should be uh, helping us to find out which is like the shipping cost from one place into another one. For example, the US sales of tax free, and I wanted to send this into Canada, for example. And the package weight, let's say for example, this one is 10 pounds. So go and get my rates. So what's gonna happen here is that this one should be uh, telling us which is the estimating shipping cost of different um, shipping rates of different suppliers. For example, there's DHL Express, there's FedEx, there's FedEx Priority, there's UPS Expedition. And what you want to do is to figure out which one fits for you the best. In our case, I believe like the most easiest and not cost us like a lot is the DHL Express small box. So I want to go into 33 USD dollars and paste that information in here, which is international. I'm going to open a new rate. Let's go for twenty time. Actually, what I would do is to go here into the create zone. And this is the part where I wanted to complete the zone here. So I'm going to go into add my rates, set up your own rates or use carrier or app to calculate rates. This one should be like helping us not to look out for an estimated shipping cost calculator so we can do this inside Shopify. So we can choose UPS, we can choose DHL, whatever you want to. So we go here, services, let's go only into future services, let's go for hand life free, the percentage here. So I just calculate rates to count for packing and handle the cost. So uh, I wanted to go and look out for the 30% here and the flat amount is let's say $66. Hit now into done and hit now. Uh, as we can see, everything has now been automatically added. So the handling fee price is the 30% plus the $66 of the transit time calculated. So here it is the order. I can go into add my rate and I can add something else. So the transit time, let's go for economy. And here the price, it's automatically added as free. So I can go and leave it like that. And I can add a new one. Let's say for example, now a standard international to, uh, to three business days, use career or app to calculate these elements. So I'm going here and instead of choosing, let's say DHL, I'm gonna go for UPS, commotion address only, hit now into done and automatically those rated to be appearing in here. So I'm gonna go here once again to add my rate, use career, I'm gonna use the third one, first class, the third one of them, the percentage, these uh, handling fee, it just calculated rate to account for packaging and handling cost. So I needed to add the percentage 
and the flat amount that I'm going to be taking here. In my case, it should be $22 and the percentage should be 15% and hit now into done. Here into UPS, what we need to do is to register with UPS if the shipping for Mercedes press confirm. If this is shipping for Mercedes, in our case, it is not. Before using UPS rates, you must confirm that we are not shipping related items. Let's go for tobacco, alcoholic, dangerous goods or lithium batteries. So enable this option. I have read and agreed to the Shopify terms of service and the GPS rate and equipment. So I enable both of them and hit into submit and continue. So in order to make the registration here of the UPS, I need to type the country, the first, my address, my apartment suit, the city, the state, the zip code, and the phone number in order to continue. So once you have successfully done that, the UPS registration is going to be added automatically. And of course, these address will not be affecting to the shipping rates or be reflected into our labels. This is just to help us uh, find it out which is the person who is sending or let's say selling this actual product. So once you fill all of that information, this should be saved it like right away. So then you can do start shipping to more places if you wanted to. You need to go to the markets and figure it out which which one should be like really really helpful for us for example the primary market for myself is united states but then later on i can try to like look out for international and countries regions that we don't sell to is going to be appearing in here so the conversion rates going to be appearing in here how many sales how many show of the total and i can go and add a recommended marketplace for example i can add australia i can add united kingdom or i can add canada as we just said before manually, but this one should be added automatically. So the market should be added in here and should be appearing here the domains and the language, the product and the pricing, the duties and import taxes, shipping costs, the store setting, the payment, the taxes. And as you can see, the market status is now being enabled. So if people come from Canada, there's actually, uh, I believe that there's not gonna be any kind of travel here. So I'm gonna add a new market here. And even we have the geolocation app installed. So the people, the customer who signed in automatically is going to be changing the preferences. Like if they're using Amazon, for example, automatically it's going to be sending you into the country where you're actually currently living. So I hit now into preview, into English, for example, and opening Zoom. As you can see, this one needs to have an actual passcode. In my case, I'm not going to be focusing on that. Uh, then, and now into the right part, we have a few recommendations. We need to enable Shopify payments, start collecting duties and import taxes, add a market for United Kingdom, and blah, 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 blah. So with that being said, guys, we have now checked it out, the shipping rates and cost for our actual shown outside even United States. So with that being said, guys, hopefully this was a very useful information for you. You can check it out, everything about your market set in here and all about your shipping and delivery sections into the settings and of course the taxes and duty which i think is like really 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 important to collect that information in here and well with that being said guys we have now reached into the very end of the video so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools about the shopify the shipping rates codes and all that so thank you so much for watching the video guys once again see you on the next video